I know that Lord Jesus cares, irrespective of the situation or condition that you may go into. I tell you that Jesus cares very much. He cares more than you can think. So therefore, believe in that Jesus cares for you. Jesus cares for your soul. Jesus cares for whatever you may go into. Whatever may stand before us today, Jesus knows all about. There is nothing that takes him by surprise. But we that are going through that may be surprised to us because we never imagined that such thing will come on our way. But the Lord Jesus know it right from the day of foundations. So therefore, I welcome you this moment. I want us indeed to relax, to be very happy before the presence of God, irrespective of whatever may be before you, irrespective of whatever the situation and condition that you know and the people may know so that you're going through that circumstances i want you to show appreciation unto the lord for at least for the life that he gives unto you that we can still having hope again some people i didn't even have that situation or condition you have but there are no way to be found today so whether they go heaven or they go hellfire but what matter that their presence are no more on this earth but you and i we still on this earth still having hope. So I want you to indeed be glad for on it. I want you indeed be, is to, you know, find a way to be happy. Find a way to make yourself happy. I tell you, find a way to so, see something to make you to appreciate the Lord for his goodness and love and kindness. You know, Jesus make it clear, problem one can never cease. We never have, we never finish have, have the poor or some situation always some some circumstances that are not sweet they are not marshable but what can we do is the life we find ourselves that is why jesus christ tells us that there is no peace neither there is a joy on this earth he go where he will prepare a place for you and i that when he through he will come to receive us and i tell you that that word is true because heaven and hellfire is real and they must know that if somebody will enter it. So at least, if we didn't believe anything, we believe in that. Everyone, everyone and her fire didn't make for stone, neither meant for animal. It's for a woman being. So therefore, that will make you to believe that we're going somewhere. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, I thank you. To you alone be the glory. To you or not, to your adoration. Thank you for this faithful moment. Thank you for this hour like this. That is the hour we come indeed to praise you, Lord, irrespective of whatever we're going through, that we will look your promises and look that which you have done for us and look that which we're expecting for you. To you be the glory in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Be our comforter in the time of the need. Lord, in the time we need comfort, O oh Lord, be our comfort in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' victorious name, we pray. Amen. God bless you. Once again, 
we are all welcome in the channel of the truth of the matter. We are, we are thus say the law. That which Bible say is what we speak. We are no crossing, neither we diminishing. So therefore, our, our purpose is to make sure that we are lighting us what the life is all about and what we are expecting. And immediately God gave vision or dream we must even if you have if I am finish, finishing this one even share the grace and the immediately share grace the voice come again I will return so I don't have any other duty than to do that which he said to do which is our Lord Jesus Christ and I want to tell as you follow believing God will surely open your eyes of understanding in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God will surely come to your need. There is a purpose and God created us. God not never create you and I that we will suffer until dead. God they are not, they are not the will of God. It is not the will of God. So therefore I want you to show appreciation before the God of heaven and earth. Because of that I have a message with me indeed that tell us and say God will remember his Covenant. God will remember his covenant that I have between Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and also between you and I. And we will see it in the scripture to see whether is there any covenant God made for you and I. Praise the Lord. May somebody praise the Lord. Hey, thank the Lord. In Jesus' victorious name we pray. For because we come to rejoice, because I want us to put enemy into shame put our second start into shame because this year they must bow this year they must bow call it jobless call it the report they what they delay them call barrenness i don't know barrenness but i know that there are some time can they can call because barrenness is the only one person i find the bible that god himself give that barrenness because he offended god so therefore any other of them they have it prostitute have it the one that uh, make mistake is taking a habit. So therefore, whatever you may go in through may be a testimony that God wants you to have, but he didn't know it. But the time, the due time, when he was sharing it, is by then your senses will come back. So God is not an evil God that he will just bless and also cause immediately. Not God. He must have something. So therefore, open with me where we are going to rejoice with our God Psalm 100, Psalm 100, and uh, I would like to take it from one, one, uh, 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 we, we like to take it from verse 1, and it says, Psalm 100, it says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye land, serve the Lord with gladness, come before his presence with singing. I want you to rejoice, please. I want you to be happy. Be happy. He may lose who is so dear for you. Or may your health have been like there is no hope. Be happy because I know the pain. I know that you are going pain, physical pain. But even those physical pain, let your heart cherish God. Let your heart give glory to God. Because God we use that sickness or that situation to make a testimony for the entire world. I promise you, I promise you, and I tell you that it is true. So therefore, be joyful. Verses 3 say, Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that he meant us, and not we, ourselves. We are his people, and he is chief of his passion. Enter into his gate with what? Thanksgiving. And into his court with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Bless the name of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For the Lord is good. His mercy is for everlasting. And his truth endureth to all generations. The truth of God, the love of God, endure for all generation i want to tell you what do you think that god will like god is not a wicked being on this earth that delighted with to seeing somebody in sorrow 
But the only other thing I came to understand that sometimes God wants us to show indeed that He's God. Sometimes God wants us to show that that, is, that situation we are going to, that He God can change it. And when we fail to show it, that situation continues to linger. And to show it is not rise up in the morning and cry unto the Lord, say, He came here, do this. There is way to show to show God that is well able. That that he have reached the age of Mary and see no husband and no wife. And they have tried your best. You see, like you are most ugly person on this earth. And he say, Okay, God, I know that your word command that we shall marry. And now I have tried my best in sincerity. I cannot find no one except to me. So that is to you be the glory, to you be the honor. And you mean it. And he kick that and keep it under the carpet. I tell you. <laughs> ah, I tell you true. When God will come go and sweep that thing under the carpet and bring it out where you keep it, it will be blessing galore. You will never cease to remember the day of blessing of the Lord. So therefore, bless ye the Lord. Praise the God of heaven and earth. For that, let us go to Psalm 94. I tell us is to praise and recognize the mighty of the Lord God. And I take it also from the 1 to 11. He said, O oh Lord God, to whom the evangelist belongeth, O oh God, to whom the evangelist belongeth, show that self. Show what that self. Lift up that lift up that self. Thou judges of the earth. Render the reward to the proud. The Lord, how long shall the wicked have? How long shall the wicked triumph? How long shall the wicked triumph? So you can see that there is a time that you will make a request and something will happen. I want you to listen to the requests of this servant of God. How he went, how he take his way. How we follow the method he, to, he follow, and when we apply that method, there is no way we no work. Cause the word of God never owed, or never that he made for the special people. The word of God meant for you and I, whoever that believe it and follow it, it works for that person. Praise the Lord, praise Master Jesus. Verses four say. How long shall they utter and speak hard things? And all the workers of iniquity boasted themselves. They break in pieces the people, O Lord, and afflicted their heritage, that slay the widows and the strangers, and murder the fatherless. Yet they say, The Lord shall not see. Neither shall the God of Jacob regard it. Understand ye, bro stretched and, and among the people, and the people, and ye fools, when will ye be wise? When will ye be wise? And say that God cannot see. They say that God cannot see. Then, then kill the widows, then kill the fatherless. They oppress them, they do as they like, they will gather them, they will deceive them, they will kill them, and still hear them say, God will not see. They are fools. They are fools, I say. They are fools. That is what the Bible called them. I'm not the one that called them. He said, When will ye be wise? Yeah. He that he planted ye. He has in the question, How can person that planted ye will know ye? Just imagine. Just imagine. Take an example. How can person that manufacture car will not have car? How can person manufacture bicycle will not have bicycle? He is the manufacturer. He is the one that manufacturing it. So people who can these people uh, they are so foolish and even on this present day we still have such people that do all the kind of incantation in secret and for them God knows seeing them. Then we even carry it to come for where the holy people sit and use it to oppressing, oppressing us. And still yet, they say God no see them. Some will even ask question, if God see, where is that God? Some will even come openly and boasted for their evil. And see yet, turn back and go. 
and also sleep and sleep as he sleep and wake in the morning. But the day, the God, the day of the reckoning, when the Lord God will arise, remember what he tell us in Isaiah. He said when he stretch hand his hand, when he will stretch forth his hand, both him that help and those that help, both will fall. And that is the word of God. And I want you to believe it with your thinking whether it's true. Because there is a day God will remember the evil doer. And that day will be that day will be that day will be rough to them. So therefore, he said, Wow, when shall he be wise? He that planted ye shall not he hear. He that formed the eyes shall not he see. Is only a fool say there is no God. Is only a fool who say that God who created heaven and the earth make a night, make the dark. And the other where we read in Bible in the same as I say that he from the light make a darkness. He from the peace created dead, created evil from the peace. He say who will ask me a question? Who can stand? Who will say what does that? That is what the people saying that he could not see them again. He will not see them. On kind of evil they are doing. But don't bother yourself, my sister, my brother. The day of the Lord is coming. The day of the Lord is coming. There is no respect. God doesn't have respect of who, the position of who they are killing you. Let that person be your uncle. Let that person be the most richest man, most richest man on this earth. That he going after you. The important thing, first of all, that you will know. If in that day no come. You know when we are talking about rapture. About the day of the Lord. Some people will say we didn't have hearing it. And yes, you have hearing it. And I myself are hearing it. When I give my life to Christ, I think the day of the Lord is after a second immediately. I tell you true. And now I have a clock in more than 20 something years. To now more than now is 23 years giving my life to Christ. But I still believe that things will change. I still believe that things will change. And I want to tell you this word we are using, we are reading is true to the letter. The day will come that God will remember the evil doer. And if they are, I tell you, there is no respect. God will have respecters of any man. Irrespective of caliber of whoever they are. But I want to say, if that day didn't come on this earth, are we all not going to die? <laughs> are we all not going to die? When you die, your rapture has come. God said to Simeon, you know, that to show you the truth because he's the one that crying that he wants to see Messiah. And if, when the Lord Jesus Christ is born, he said that he will not stay dead. Why? Is to show you that we all will die. And when we die, then our mother have closed completely on this earth. So therefore, if you no see rapture, you will see dead. If your enemy no see rapture, your enemy will see dead. And one thing that is sure, that whether you that listen to me believe or didn't believe, there is a two place. And by grace of God, the person that talking to you, I went to there several times. When he's in need, I will go and visit there by true spirit of angel, by through the help of the Lord. So I know what I'm talking. And that is why when I'm talking, telling people about her fire, about heaven, it seems like you are sleeping there. Because I know that is a true. I have take my eyes see. I have taken my eyes see, I have taken my ear, hear the groan, hear the cry, and hear also the joy. So therefore, it may not be necessary whether Jesus come or no come for your death, for the rapture or no rapture. But dead is your, what you already sure that it will be. Whether rapture, dead is there. Whether no rapture, dead is there. And there is a two place. And you must choose one. I have seen how people choose it. And you choose it not because of your desire. You know, they didn't choose it because that day, all will want to make heaven. All will want to go to heaven. That is very simple truth. But there is a force between the light and darkness. There is nothing like deceive yourself. There is nothing like cunning mind. There is nothing like partial judgment that we can see. 
call it in the judge, you call it in the church, call it in your family. There is no such thing. There is nothing like a mistake of judgment. So therefore, people say that God knows sin. He that chases, he said, he that chastised is chastised, uh, shall not he correct. He that is teached a man, I know have knowledge, you have knowledge. You're talking about our God. Shall not he know? He know. The Lord knows. They don't know where it, the thought of man that they are vanity. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The thought of man are vanity upon vanity. So, I want you to relax your mind to rejoice in the Lord. I want you to be happy in the Lord. Because the God of heaven, whom who we have, will surely do you well. We surely visit you. We surely change your story. We surely hear us. Because he is the Lord. And he is what he promised. God is not a man that he will change again. God is not a man that when the time comes, he will do you panky panky. No. God is not that. God, the Bible says that his word is here and his word is amen. Whether you believe or you didn't believe, the word of God is here and the word of God is amen. That settled the matter. What he say will do is what he will do. Nobody will, will challenge him. Without taking the time, Exodus, Exodus chapter 14, we take verses 14, sorry, verses 14. Exodus 14, verses 14. What does Bible say there? Bible say, and they will tell it to the Adita. Oh, excuse me. I mean Exodus and little number. Exodus 14, 14. And the Lord, Lord shall fight for you. Lord shall fight for you. And ye shall hold your peace. So you don't bother yourself. For people may go in around and mocking to you because you know have what you're supposed to do. Or maybe because they are little shaman, little juju, and little whatever they have done. They're thinking that it's that they're working for you. There is nothing working for you. God set everything apart and there is a day for that. There is a day for that. And that thing that God set apart and or maybe whatever you are going to may later turn to be a testimony that is simple true. So forget about what the people may say they are doing. They cannot do anything. Neither they can change anything for what God has displayed to you. Praise the Lord. So I move. The Bible tells us the time come and the time come. God hear the cry of the children of Israel. God will hear your cry. God will hear my cry and things will change in the name of Jesus Christ. And when he hear the cry, the Bible says he remember the covenant he made with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And the Lord needed to visit them. Your situation may not be even very, it may not be hard like the situation of children of Israel in the, in the land of bondage, Egypt. Your situation may not be even hard like heartless of Pharaoh. But when the Lord come, when the Lord come, he use it to make his self name. And he used it to promote, make Moses a god. Do you know that God, Moses was a god on this earth? Moses was a god. And Aaron is a prophet. So therefore, remember what Moses go through. How then God let her turn him to be a god? So have, I want you to relax. I want you to relax. Because it will not be long. Where we find it is in Exodus chapter 2. But our time, we may know reading it here. Exodus chapter 2 verses 24 is where, where we find what we read. And God hear the agony and, and God remember his covenant with Abraham and uh, with Isaac and with Jacob. And God look upon the children of Israel and God respect, had the respect unto them. Praise the Lord. God had, had respect unto them because it's called covenant. And they are going to also to show you the covenant that God himself made before you and I and we pray. Because the covenant didn't end only with the children of Israel. Con that covenant of the Lord indeed is universal. Praise the Lord. So, we are taking the time. Let us look that so that we also pray. Let us look at the covenant that God himself made with us so that we pray. 
So remember, I tell you to relax, rejoice, be grateful, be grateful with God, because the Lord God will surely, surely, will surely remember you, will surely change your situation, and will surely visit you. Now, our own covenant, where God made covenant, consign us. We are Genesis chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1, we take it, verses 28. Is your covenant, is my covenant. And I want you to hold on it. Hold on it and bring your argument on it before the Lord. And God will hear. God will have respect of his word. Praise the Lord, somebody. Praise the Lord, somebody. God will have respect of his word. Irrespective of whatever may be, irrespective of whatever may be going through, now see the covenant the Lord God made for us in Genesis chapter 1, verses 28. And God will do what? God bless them, and God say unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish in the earth, and they do it, and they have dominion over the fishes and over the fishes of the sea, and over the fowls of the air, and over a living thing that moves upon the earth. This is a promise. So now tell me. You that agree with the word of God. Now tell me what you will believe that God that speaks this good consign you. That the same God will just forget you and turn you back and you'll be tormented until you return either hellfire or to heaven. My prayer that we will all will return to heaven in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That situation, that condition that will make us to go to hellfire, indeed God of heaven we frustrate that situation, we frustrate that man, we frustrate that woman, we frustrate that situation and condition and sickness in the name of Jesus Christ. Because his only fear and sin can make us to go hellfire. And so therefore, I command fear to disappear in your, in your, in your body, in your heart, in your mind, in the name of Jesus Christ. And I say that sin will not have dominion over you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And if you find out that that sin has been now gave you, I want you to open your mouth and cry unto the Lord. I say, cry unto the Lord, He will have mercy upon you, and He will change the situation. Praise the Lord. So I want us to pray right now. I want us to pray. How are we praying? I want you to call upon the name of the Tell the Lord to remember His covenant between you and your children. Remember His covenant between you and your family. I tell you, the covenant is all of us, not only for the children of Israel. The covenant is for you and I. So right now, I want you to develop your argument before the Lord. That situation that faces you, that situation that disturbs you, present it before the Lord because it's not the will of God. But command that situation to be a testimony unto you, that the, you will share the testimony and the world will hear it. May we pray. Almighty Father, I want to thank you very much. Lord, I thank you for your word indeed is, com is that that comfort my soul. Lord, when I receive your word, new life come unto me. I that Father pray, all men and women that listen, that follow you, O God, as they receive the word, Lord, let the new fresh word come unto them in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let their life to be changed in the name of Jesus Christ. And let confidence, O God, germinate again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my God and my Savior. Thank you, dependable Jehovah. So, therefore, Lord, he send out your word, and that your word can never return void unto thee, or set thee for feed that which he send him out for. So, dear Lord, he say, be fruitful, multiply, and replenish in the air. And he say, we should have dominion. Over everything that you created in heaven, in the world, on this earth, that is in glory, mean that every oven, uh, over the set town will have dominion. Lord, because your word is power and the quicker and the chapter than two angels saw. Lord, when we speak out your word, Lord, your word, there are no man will hold your word. There is no power. The day you say to Pharaoh, say Moses, let the tell Pharaoh to let my people go. Pharaoh think that is as it was. 
but that bring a make a story to end in the Red Sea. And that Red Sea was waiting for Red sea, Pharaoh. But that day, Red Sea making mistake, thinking that he waiting for the children of Israel. And they asking the children of Israel question, are you going to sweep me? Are you going to fly? Hmm? How manage? What do you want to do? And children of Israel look up and look down, look back and look front and look side, and all be conquered by enemy. They were conquered by enemy. By dependable Jehovah, you speak to Red Sea. And Red Sea be a parted way for the children of Israel. So whatever spiritual Red Sea that people are going through, whoever that following me, whoever that listening, Lord, I say we speak that to that situation, and that situation will be the will be the situation of blessing. It will from evil come to blessing in the name of Jesus Christ, because nothing is too hard to you to do. It's what He tell us in Jeremiah. What he say and what he will do is what he will be. To you be the glory. So therefore, Lord, I cover the people with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And I declare the heart of understanding will open. That the people will came to understand of the word of God that can never change. Know that someone standing near the grave doesn't mean that that someone will get into the grave. So therefore, Lord, it's what he tell us, Lord. Lord, even in Psalm 23, he say, although I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. So it means that whatever situation, the raw places and the rugged as it can be, I fear no evil. I therefore the pray that these people will fear no evil in the name of Jesus Christ. So dependable Jehovah. Open the fountain of joy. Open the fountain of joy for the people, oh God. The once again that we should be happy. The once again that we should lift up our eyes and glorify the God of heaven in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, thank you, Father. Lord, as this sun shine, my Father in glory. Lord, I pray that our joy will shine as this sun shine upon us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Glory be to your name, even now and forevermore. In Jesus' victory names we pray amen i bless the name of god on behalf of you and your entire family i bless the name of god having following this channel or this why i pray that a god of heaven and earth indeed we follow you also up in the mighty name of jesus christ whatever that you may go into god will surely come to your head in the name of jesus christ Sorrow can never be permanent. I say sorrow can never be permanent where you are. It's just for the why. And God will indeed replace in the gap that that sorrow have lived in your life, in your family, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray and amen. The channel you are watching is a channel of truth of the matter. If it is a all time that you come and encounter with us, just subscribe. And tell others about the channel. And if you have been following, continue to share. As you continue to share in our prayer that we give him for this session, for this line, we continue to be in faith before you and we continue walking in the name of Jesus Christ. Even though you didn't share, even though you didn't subscribe, I say, God. Only because you have your time to listen this message. God will bless you mightily. And God will answer your prayer. I tell you the simple truth. God will come to your head. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray. God bless you. Until we meet again.